な皿なんだろうなよくぞ聞いてくれましたお答えしましょうチャーハンス This is what we're making today. Odorless fried rice. This is leftover dongbo pork that I made two weeks ago. If you want to see it, click on the eye above for the video. Don't worry guys, I know this is two weeks old, but this won't kill me. Braised items last in the fridge for a pretty long time. After cutting the pork into cubes, we're now going to cut these tomatoes in halves and peel a garlic clove. Next, we're gonna make our aqua pizza stock. We're gonna fill this pan with olive oil and then saute our garlic and tomatoes for five minutes. After five minutes, your tomatoes should have started turning soft and they should have looked like this. At this point, we're going to deglaze this pan with 2 cups of white wine and 2 cups of water. We're going to put a lid on it and let it simmer for about 20 minutes, letting it develop some flavor. Next, we're going to poach our seafood in this aqua pizza stock. This gray cod is going to be poached on a low simmer for 7 minutes. We're also going to throw some mussels in there. After 7 minutes, we're going to strain the liquids from the solids. We're going to set the meat aside and use it for later. And as for this stock, we're going to use it to flavor our rice pilaf. Next, we're going to make a mirepoix. A mirepoix consists of 50% onion, 25% celery, and 25% carrot. Once the mirepoix is done, we're going to make a rice pilaf. In a pan, we're going to put in 100 grams of butter. Unfortunately, the other pan was too small, so I switched them to a bigger pan. In this bigger pan, we're going to put in our mirepoix. We're going to saute the mirepoix until it turns translucent for about 3 minutes, and then add in 2 cups of converted rice. We're going to toast this rice for about 5 minutes, and then add in 2 cups of our aqua pizza stock and 2 cups of water. We're going to put a lid on this rice and then set it in the oven for 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. While the pilaf's cooking, we're going to soft boil an egg. We're going to put the egg into the hot tub, put a lid on it, and set a 6 minute timer. After 6 minutes, we're going to pull the egg out and dip it in an ice bath. This will stop the cooking process. Next, we're going to peel this egg. We're going to crack it by tapping it with a spoon and start peeling from the bottom. This liquidy mayo was made 3 days ago. If you want to know how I made it, click on the eye on the upper right of your screen. We're going to dump a cup of this mayo in my tiny little blender alongside with a soft boiled egg. We're going to crack this egg in half and then blitz it. We're going to make a sauce with this mayo and this soft boiled egg. After 30 minutes, our rice pilaf is done. We're going to give it a little mix to ensure that it's nice and fluffy and then set it aside. This is the cod that we poached in the aqua pizza stock. We're going to shred this fish and then cut some beans into 1 cm cubes. In a hot pan, we're going to put in half a cup of green beans, 1 tablespoon of lentils, 1 teaspoon of turmeric, and 1 teaspoon of chili powder. 
We're gonna give it a little tossy toss and then add it one third of a cup of freshly grated coconut, which is not fresh at all. In fact, it was frozen. It's fresh frozen. After giving it a little mix, we're gonna add in one cup of our Dong Po Ro, about half a cup of our Grey Cod, and some mussels. We're gonna give this a little toss, sauteing it for another two minutes. Then we're gonna season it with salt. Give it another toss. And now we're gonna add in three cups of our rice pilaf. We're gonna saute this on really high heat for about two minutes, and then we're gonna add in our special mayo. We're gonna toss this on really high heat until the mayo coats each grain of rice, turning each grain of rice into a nano omelet. This is what's supposed to lock in the flavor and make it odorless. Now let's play. This is reality, and this is anime. All right, we can finally taste this. Before we taste this, I will say this. It doesn't have a strong smell, considering we use all those spices, all that butter and oil, and the aquapaxa stock used for the rice pilaf. And as for the taste, I mean, it tastes pretty good, but is it to die for? Eh. The dominant flavor is definitely the converted rice, and you can definitely taste each distinct ingredient from the dongpo ro to the aquapazza and the porial. Anyways, that concludes this 5 part series on the odorless fried rice. If you guys like what you see, hit the like button, and if you guys have any suggestions on what I should cook next, please post in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and one more thing, this rice is really oily.